Hello there, I'm Rylan. What is better, flux mining or ETH mining? Well, let's find out. One major thing that flux has compared to Ethereum is something called parallel assets. And I'll link a video down in the description below of somebody talking about what parallel assets are and how they work and how you can utilize them to get more profit. I highly recommend you go watch that. When I was mining Flux for a little bit, I decided to do it just, just to dabble a little. I noticed that my profitability just wasn't as good as uh, Ethereum by a huge margin. And I always thought that, yeah, it's risen up in the last little bit. I thought it would be like almost on par with or just below. It just, but it was instead of making $8 a day, I was making... Uh, four or five dollars a day. I thought it would be closer to six or six or seven, but that wasn't the case. And that's because I was missing something, and that was parallel assets. To put it simply, how they work is that they are tokens on other networks that represent flux. And you can get paid out in those tokens. There are some pools that will just pay you 100% in flux with those parallel assets. If you want to learn any more, like how you can get it paid out, again, I highly recommend you go down in the description below and click on that video. I'm going to be running a one month test, an entire month. What is better, uh, Ethereum mining or Flux mining with parallel assets? Here I have two miners going on at the same time, uh, the Flux and then uh, Ethereum. And there you can see the hash rates I have. And the Flux is just the 1070. So Ethereum is all my other cards. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my payout from Ethereum, and actually I'm getting paid out in Bitcoin from Ethereum, but that's not the point of this. I'm gonna take my payout from Ethereum there. I'm gonna get the percentage of what that what my 1070 on Ethereum is doing, and take that same percentage and count it towards what my payout in Bitcoin is. So I have the percentage the 1070 does in Bitcoin, and then I can just take the entire what I have in flux and have them head to head on which one is better just mining ethereum or mining flux here I am in hive os and here are the two cards the top one right here and the bottom one right here and the bottom one is the one mining ethereum the top one is the one mining uh, flux here's the pool statistics and I know it says you know 170 mega hash but I'll just I'll, like I said earlier I'm gonna take the percentage what the 1070 does compared to these four cards on ethereum and then compare it against what I get in flux. Here are the flux st statistics, and it says I'm only going to be making uh, 40 cents a day, but that's just because it hadn't it hadn't kicked in right here. What it's actually doing, it's almost double that. It's almost 40 SOLs per second, so it's really going to be making closer to 80 cents. So yeah, in a month I'll make a video comparing the two and see which one comes out on top. Those par parallel assets could make up for that little bit, but we don't know. We're going to find out though. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like down below and subscribe as well while you're down there. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Bye.